Uh, good afternoon. If you can remember yesterday, I promised to start posting past questions and answers. So without wasting much time, we are going to begin with the very first question, which is we should simplify this. Now we have to transform each one of these into improper fraction. For this one, 2 times 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, divided by 2, plus this time this is 6, plus this is 7, divided by 3, multiplied by 3, divided by 4, minus 1 over 2. We begin with this, but this cancel this. So we end up having 3 divided by 2 plus 7 over 4 minus 1 over 2. Each one of these has a common LCM which is 4. 2 into 4 is 2 times 3 is 6 plus 4 times this is 7 minus 2 here 2 times this is 2. So this will give us 6 plus 7 is 13. Then 13 minus 2 is 11, divided by 4. And 4 can go into 11 2 times, remainder 3, divided by 4. So this is the final answer, which is C. And this is the second question. We are asked to evaluate 16.56 divided by 0 0.0536 times 18.2. In this case, you just need your calculator to simplify this. And we are asked to leave the answer in three significant figures. And these are the options given to us. So uh, we can say 0 0.0536 multiplied by 18.25. And this is what I got. 0 0.9782. And this is 16.54. Then we simplify this as 16.54 divided by this. And we end up having 16.908607655. And this will give us in three significant figures. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we have one, six, point nine. We can set the remaining numbers to be equal to zero, zero, zero. And this is the right option. Um, this is the question number three, which is an indices. We are asked to simplify this, and these are the options given. Um, we are going to make sure each one of them have equal base. So we know that two power three is eight. 2 power 3 is 8, but already we have other 2 there. That 2 will multiply this 1. So we have 2 power 2 multiplied by 0 times 2 power 3, which is 8, multiplied by negative 3. And the numbers at the denominator are already having the same base. So we just subtract the index, which is 7, raised to the power of 3 minus 6. This is 2 power 6 times 2 power 0 because 2 times this is 0 and times 2 power negative 9 all divided by 7 raised to the power of this minus this is minus 3 and this will be the same thing as 2 power you add the index together this is 6 plus 0 minus 9 divided by 7 power negative 3 and this will give us um, 6 plus 0, 6 minus 3, minus 9 is 2 raised to the power of negative 3, all over 7 raised to the power of negative 3. If you simplify this, you are going to get 1 all over 2 power 3, which is 8, divided by uh, 1, divided by 7 power 3, which is uh, 3, 4, 3. 3, 4, 3. And again, 1 over 8 multiply. If you change this one to multiplication, you have to take the reciprocal of this, which is 3, 4, 3, divided by 1. We end up having 3, 4, 3, divided by 8, which is the first option. The first option, which is 8. Uh, question number 4. We are asked to simplify 1 over 3 
log of 64 base 2 1 over 3 log 64 base 2 this is the same thing as 1 over 3 log 2 power 6 because 2 power 6 2 power 6 is 64 and this is the same thing as you know if you have log b power a this is the same thing as e a log log b so we apply that law in this so we have 1 over 3 6 log 2 base 2 if you simplify this again you end up having 6 divided by 3 log 2 log 2 base 2 so we have 6 divided by 3 which is 2 times 1 because the log of a number having the same base as the number is 1 so this is equal to 2 so this is the first option a which is the correct answer and question number 5 the first term of geometric progression is 6 if its common ratio is 2 over 3 find the fifth term we have we are given available options so every term of geometric progression tn is equal to a r power n minus 1 so in this case we are given a as which is the first term as 6 and the common ratio r as 2 over 3 and the n equals to 5 which is the fifth term so let us apply this t5 equals a is 6 r is 2 over 3 and n minus 1 is 5 minus 1 which is 4 this simplifies to 6 in bracket of 2 power 4 over 3 power 4 this equal to 6 multiplied by this is um, 16 divided by 81 and 6 times 16 will give us 96 96 divided by 81 3 96 divided by 3 is 32 and 81 divided by 3 is 27 so the right option is e which is 32 divided by 27 question number six the first and the last terms of arithmetic progressions are six and 153 respectively if there are 50 terms in the sequence find the common difference and these are the options given to us now first term is a which is six l the last term is 153 n equals to 50 and d is unknown is what we are asked to find the general term of arithmetic sequence is given as tn equals to a plus n minus 1 times d and every term is tn even the last term so we can substitute l as tn so we have 153 equals to 6 which is a plus n is 50 minus 1 49 times d so we end up having this equation by bringing 6 to the left hand side it becomes negative so we have 153 minus 6 equals to 49 d 153 minus 6 is 147 147 equals 49 d to find d we need to divide each side by 49 so d will be equal to 147 divided by 49 147 147 divided by 49 and is equal to 3 3 the right option is e Given that 244 base x equals to 1022 base 4, what is the value of x? These are the available options given to us. So for i x, we need to transform each one of these into base 10. So we start with the very first one, which is 2 times the x number, which we don't know, plus 4 times the x, 
plus 4 times the x. Then you assign the n index from 0, 1, 2. And this is the same thing as 1 times 4 to the right hand side plus 0 times 4 plus 2 times 4 plus 2 times 4. Index from 0, 1, 2, 3. Then let us simplify. Here we have 2x squared plus 4x plus 4 because a number is to the power of 0 is 1, so we have 4 here. This equals to 64 times 1 is 64. This is 0. This is 8. And this is 4 is above 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. So here we have to the right hand side we have 74. 2x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals to 74. We need to bring 74 in. So we have 2x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus this. 4 minus this is minus 70 equals to 0. Now we divide each term by 2. 2, 2, 2. So we have x squared plus 2x minus 35 equal to 0. By factorization, we think of two numbers. When we multiply them together, we get 35. And when we add them together, we get a positive number 2. And the numbers are 7 and 5 plus minus. If you set this one to be equal to 0, you have x equal to negative 7. And if you set this one to be equal to 0, you have x equals to 5. So the actual value of x is equal to 5 because x is representing a base and we don't have a negative base. So the right answer here is 5.